everybody, it's me, Nessa. Welcome to my nook. And that is exactly what it is. It is a nook at the end of my hallway. You'll hear traffic, you'll hear the king and the prince, the little prince and my little princess running around as they do. It's called traffic because it is a nook that sits at the end of my hallway. Today I plan on doing a look using the Ofra pot. This is the secret garden palette I got in my mystery bag. So if you want to see that look, please stick around. Okay, and on my face today, I put uh, the glossy skin balm down for a moisturizer. Did that first, and I went in with a professional from Benefit. So that crossed my nose and across my cheeks. The Elf Hydrating Primer. I did that the rest all the all over the rest of my face. The foundation that I used today was the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 102. Then I went in with my Putty Blush from Elf in the shade Bora Bora. And then I went in with my Clean Contour from Hard Candy. Contour and highlighter stick. I just did the contour side. Then I whole face down with my Elf. Halo setting powder, wet and wild contour palette to recontour the powder. Then over the blush, I went with my NARS Mini in Orgasm. It's really pretty. Went over the top of my blush with that. Took it to Brazil from wet and wild to bronze. My Ofra was to bloomer. My lip, the K Cat Gloss. I just like red lips. That should be the face, and I also did the Elf Putty Primer for the eyes. Pretty simple, pretty quick. And here, pop on the ears. Pop on the ears first. Shh, push the hairs back. Show off the much forehead. Bless it to me by my father. Oh, jump out. I did the morning. Day pull for Abby. We're gonna jump in here and we're going to work with our upper pot. Color switch. This is the Morphe 433 brush. We're gonna jump into this color first and we're gonna do it all over the lid. So we're just gonna pop right on in here and we're gonna basically just set down that primer all over the lid with that color. It's gonna be really fast. Quick, 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 quick. Just wanna jump into the fun stuff. Let's get the fun stuff and get started. All right, so here we go. Let's switch. We're going to jump into this pink. Let's do it on this finger, because this one's, let me wipe off my fingers real quick. Let's get a jump into the pink. And we're going to pop that into the crease. So we're going to go right into the crease. And we're just going to lighten up the crease. We're going to push it towards my brow. So we're going to just kind of spread that crease up towards my brow. Okay, just to give it some definition, just to give us a place to start. Okay, from there we're going to jump into this purple in the corner that I'm simply in love with. And we're going to pop that into the actual crease. We're going to take just a smaller brush though. We're going to take this M503. Okay, and we're going to do that. We're going to color switch them off real quick and we're going to pop them into the crease. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to force him right into that crease. I've used this palette, this will be my second time, and the pigment and the payoff on the palette itself is just amazing. If you can get your hands on any of my eyeshadow, I know they're expensive, but it is definitely worth it. 
definitely worth the money. So we're just gonna keep building that up. Okay, just like that. We're gonna put that brown out there too and darken up that outer V. And then that's what we're gonna do for that. So we're gonna call just a little bit more, I think. There we go. Alright. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to color switch that one. We're going to pop into this brown. This dark brown down here. And we're going to pop that into my outer V. Pop it in right out here. And just darken up this outer V out here. Just like that. Just kind of give that a little bit of a pop of darkness out there. Just darken it up a little bit. Kind of ground it out. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Okay. Just like that. Okay, color switch again. Then we're going to actually take the highlighter in the middle on our finger and we're going to pop it into the center corner and draw it across the eye to that brown just to give my eye a bling. We'll also put that in our in that inner corner as well. If you can't get in there with your finger because you got nails or something you can use a brush. Let's take the little baby Morphe 507 and we're just going to pop into that first color and we're just going to kind of buff into this and just pop them down. Okay. Yeah, more wear in there. Pop into that inner highlighter or into that highlighter again and tap it right into that inner end of the eye, that inner corner of the eye. Just kind of drag it around. We're going to do the same thing on the other eye, and I'm going to cut, just like that. And then we're going to go in with a short stubby brush from Morphe. It is the 408. Okay, give them a good color switch, and we're going to go into that brown, and we're going to drag it under the eye all the way over today. We're not going to even mince words. We're just going to drag it over there. Drag it on into the look. Just a little bit. We're just going to pop on and do that over here real quick. I'm going to go back into that smaller brush, that small fluffy brush. This is the M507. I always forget. And we're going to go into the pink. And we're going to just run it in there. So then we're going to, this is an e.l.f. homemade, we use it as a liner here, it's in the shade Espresso, and I'm going to pop this into my waterline, so in the magic of YouTube and editing, I'm going to do this off camera, just like that. The under eyes are done. So then we're going to go on to do our lashes. So we're going to pull this out. This is just a dollar mascara. We're going to curl our lashes. Medieval torture device. Do that real quick. To just do this real quick.
All right. Then we're going to take these. These are Lava Lashes in the shade Charm. And we're going to pull them out of here and we're going to prep them to put them up on my eye. So we're going to grab, where'd he go? Kiss blue. Kiss adhesive. We're going to coat those real quick. So we're just going to coat the lash. Okay. Nothing too fancy. Let's just get it on there. I'm going to use the Kat Von D KVD Tattoo Eyeliner to do the liner across my eyeline. And I'll show you how to do my first lash and then we'll cut and I'll be back with lashes. Okay. Right up against your eyelash. So then you figure out which one is your inner lash and which one's your outer lash. This is my inner lash. And you're going to wiggle it, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Get it to contour to your eye. And you're going to pull up on your mirror, pip it up, crawl up on top of it, and then place them right down on, look down at it, and place it right down on top of your lash. Tuck the end. When I tuck my inner corner, I take it, and I push it against the inner corner, close my eye, and I look towards that way, underneath my eye. I put it in there and I look just like that. When it gets dried, then we'll push it up a little bit. So we're going to cut. There you are. So we're going to pull the ears down, bring the bangs down, flop them. This is where it all starts to make sense. Oops. And just like that, one look using the Ofra Garden palette. Okay, ta da! This is a neutral look. This is like you could go to work every day look. This is nothing that's crazy. It doesn't scream color, 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 color. It screams, look at me. I got this. Tone it down. The lashes do. I love lashes. So if you made it this far into the into the video, please leave a comment down below. Thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Shows me that I'm doing okay. Please like, of course, and subscribe. That would be the thumbs up. Please subscribe. Share the channel with people. That'd be great. Thank you so very, very much for sticking around. And I will see you very, very soon. Much love, my darlings. Much love.